Hi, so welcome to another Minecraft video by Smurf Asher. Today we're going to build a medieval small boat. Now I've built quite a few of these little boats and I've dotted them all around the harbour and one of the main reasons for doing this is just to add hustle and bustle to the harbour. I've dotted a few of the little boats in there as well and the main reason is to make these boats look bigger. You put small boats around big boats and everything looks more in scale proportion and it makes the bigger boats look a little bit more magnificent and large. So let's begin. It should be quite a quick build this and I hope you can follow it. Now a little trick is to put a lily pad down. If you put a lily pad down you don't have to build a column of blocks all the way up from the, uh, the bottom of the seabed. You can just put a block straight on top like that and you get rid of the block. Put one underneath and then you want to put a block there so that it's just in the water. That's a half half block slab of dark oak. Now to show you the palette, you want dark oak wood slab, you want dark oak wood stairs, you want dark oak planks, you want spruce wood slabs. Later you're going to need an oak fence for the mast and you're going to want quartz slabs for the sail and white wool for the sail. And that should be pretty much everything you need. Now to begin you want five of these half block slabs. That's two, three, four, five. Then put down a block, any block, it doesn't matter, it's going to get rid of it. Put an upside down stair there, upside down, upside down stair here as well, and just follow along until all of those blocks are covered. Do the same thing again on the other side. If you can place them right, there you go. And then put one half block slab just here. Get rid of that. And then what you do is you put a slab there and a slab there. And that will give you the bottom half that we see here. On here, we've got a step that sits on top of those. So put a step here and a step there. After the step, we've got a solid block and then a half block slab. So block, so block, and a half slab. And they actually join together like that. Then, once we've done that, if we look at this ship, we've got a slab underneath it and a slab that goes in a T shape at the back. So there, 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 and here. And that gives you that shape there. So you have this shape here. Okay, so just to go from the side again, just in case I've confused you, that's stair, half block slab, a stair, one big block, one half slab, one half slab at the top, two blocks in the middle there, half slab, and it's obviously symmetrical. And then just cap it off by putting one there. And then that gives you the same shape as we have on that other boat, as you see over there. Now what you can then do, if you want, is you can put some railings around it. Or you can use whatever colour you want. I'm going to not use the birch. I'm going to actually uh, stick with either dark oak or spruce. I think I'm going to go with spruce. Put spruce around the decking at the top here just to give you a little place to stand if you want to see a bit further out to sea and then start laying the half slabs down put them just one gap from there and there and there and you can variate that, you can change things if you want and once you got to this point here where you've got the stairs that is the same position here so you're going to want double slabs above section so just where that um, last stair is there a block and a slab and a slab join that up there just so it's in the middle 
do another two blocks coming out from the center. Like that. So you've got three square blocks that just come out of the front. As I've got there. And then come off, put a block here and a block there. Bring it out one. Put another block on the top. Block forward. And another block forward. There's the shape of the front of your uh, the prow of your ship. And finally, just put one more block just under there, just to sort of make it a bit more of a gentler slope into the rest of the uh, into the ocean. So it's got a little bit over a bit faster. All right. Next thing is to do the sail. Now I'd suggest you put the sail fair, just just off center, but um, closer to the front if you can. Bring this up like so. So it's one, two, three, and then four. From there, get your slab. I'm going to do it the other side here just so that it makes it look a little bit different to the other ship. Two slabs, three, and bring it all the way up to the front by that much. So where that position is here, you have your mast and you've got four blocks. Now what you want to do is you want to build a sail. And the easiest way to do this is to bring it back as far, just one block f uh, from the rigging there. Bring it one block further forward than the mast you put down and then build a, tri a triangle. Now I'm not going to keep it like this, we'll just put this triangle down so that we can then hack away at it afterwards and add more blocks to make it look like it's billowing a bit more. There you go. Not very exciting at the moment, but it's going to get more interesting. I promise. <laughs> Got half block slab there. And now what you're going to do is bring it out. And the way you do this is you just go over the blocks you've already done. You can copy me exactly if you like. But this, when it comes to sails, they normally come out very different each time. You bring one out there. There's a little bit of. Uh, what you want to do is just try and avoid the blocks looking the same. Try and avoid any straight lines. And bring it out to taper. Like that. And that's good enough as a sail. What you want to now do is go on the other side and knock out the blocks until you encounter a hole. Then you just put, put a block back in. That's a hole, sit that one there. That's a hole, put it back. That's another hole, so we just take all those out. Now, if this happens to you, you can just join it up. follow the mast along like so. And there you go. That is one small ship. You can do some nice things to this as well. You can uh, add Steve's head to it as well. <laughs> Make it look like his little person inside. So just jump down here, put your head in, and there's Steve. Hello. Can't really see him there, so let's put a little, mark, a little stick in. Put his head on. And there you go, got a small little chip. Okay, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any comments or if you'd like me to do any other tutorials, just let me know. Please add, like, and subscribe.